This painting by Francis Chris, a portrait of Alma sewing from around 1935, I think uh, at first seems like a straightforward representation of a woman at work, in this case a seamstress. But as you spend more time with this painting, it becomes clear that there are a few more layers to it. And what you first notice, and what Chris really wants you to notice first, is of course the main subject of the painting, um, the seamstress. Just to emphasize her skill as a laborer, he places front and center her hands, which are, are quite large and, um, and powerful. And I think that really is meant to emphasize her role as a skilled laborer. Your eye then travels uh, through the canvas along the, the beautiful profile here of this mannequin uh, to this other rather bizarre mannequin, uh, paper mannequin posted to the wall. And then my eye always uh, pauses here where you see a self-portrait of the artist in the reflection. But of course it's a jarring self-portrait. It is um, painted on a convex surface but the portrait itself seems uh, flat and um, almost like you're peering through a window. Behind Alma we have this beautiful curtain. It's a blue, lovely curtain that really sets off the figure against it. And of course this was also a very traditional technique that artists use um, dating back to the 17th century for portraiture. So if you were viewing this painting in the 1930s, it probably would have appeared to you quite modern, not only for its subject matter as um, a representation of labor, which was uh, quite a common theme in the 1930s Depression era, but also because of the artist's uh, skill at blending traditional and expected techniques with um, a modern edge. So for example, uh, in this representation of his self-portrait and in other elements, um, he's engaging with a very traditional technique of trompe l'oeil or trick of the eye that engages the viewer, um, kind of plays with their sense of, of vision and perspective and space. So all these elements combine, this um, blending of modern and traditional, give this painting a real surreal quality and I think also that's really what makes it so special.